Hello, this is Dampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And this is the third building contest, which I'm doing over here with Ballistic Squid. Um, if you watch the past ones, you'll remember uh, that in the first one, I built that and he built that, uh, and he very rightly won. Uh, in the second building uh, contest, we had to make a mob trap, and I built that big old creeper, and uh, he built that, and I won that one. And so, as it stands, we are 1-1, one, one, one apiece. And this is the decider. And if you haven't watched any of these, I'm going to quickly explain what it is. Basically, we have a certain amount of time to build a mystery building or object or item or whatever. And uh, Zach Man's the host. He's the person who's been doing all these building contests for us. So thank you very much, Zach, uh, for setting these awesome challenges. And this one's a small one. You can see we've only got a very small area. And I don't know what I'm going to be building yet. But we only have 15 minutes to build it. Uh, so the tension uh, is going to be very high. We don't have much time at all. And I kind of like it. It's a bit more intense for the final building contest. So there's only going to be uh, one video. This isn't going to be uh, in two parts like it normally is. And all I need to do now is wait for Squid to come back uh, from whatever it is he's doing. And then Zach Man's going to hop up on top of that pillar. And then when he jumps down and lands on the floor, it's going to be all system go. And I, I just can't wait to find out uh, what it is we're going to be building because it, it's such a small area. Like, I mean, I can understand why he's only given us 15 minutes. It's such a small little pen like to build in. But I, 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 I can't imagine what what we could build, which is so small. And we're so close to each other as well. It just makes it uh, that bit more exciting. And it's the decider. This is the big final one. And I I'm good mates with Squid now. I've done a lot of videos with him and I chat and play with him all the time. And um, neither of us are very competitive. We are both just doing this for fun. But I want to win. Of course I want to win. Why wouldn't I want to win? I mean, this is this is the big one. If there's one to win, this is it. Because it's this This is the end. And are we starting? Is that, is that are, we, are we going? I mean, I suppose we can't really start. I think, I think that was a warm-up. I think he was just warming up his jumping legs uh, because we don't even know what we're building yet. But uh, we should be starting uh, anytime soon. And I'm just going to put down a sign uh, to Squid just saying good luck. Just to... Uh, yeah, I, I want to be friendly, you know. It's actually quite funny before we started this. I was there saying to Zach saying, when you're deciding who the winner is, uh, bear in mind that, like... I love you and like I consider you my best friend now Zach so <laughs> hopefully I've sort of influenced the uh, outcome uh, a little bit and let, let's go I think I think we're all ready I mean I'm in flying mode um, I'm also going to be timing this on my phone just so uh, I've got an idea of um, how long uh, we've got left and once that time is out uh, I think my my phone's actually gonna bark at me and did he just poison me did he just throw poison at me yeah you you tell him off Zach you tell him off <laughs> I don't know if Zach's uh, waiting for that sign to load in maybe he hasn't loaded in for him oh here we go here's the big reveal what are we building make an arcade game what make an arcade game what like an arcade cabinet surely I don't have to do anything with redstone um I don't I don't, I don't know if he means like make an arcade like cabinet I could make pong I could try and make Pong. I could have, like, uh, two minecarts, like, moving, like, left and right in the background. Um, okay, well, we're starting. Whatever. We're off. Time has begun. I've pressed it on my phone. Um, should I make, like, an arcade cabinet or something? I want it to be working. Though. I want it to be um, a playable arcade game. I could do um, Space Invaders. I could kind of do, I guess, I could do like Millipede. That's what I'm going to do. I have it so you stand here and you're going to move left and right with your bow and arrow. And there could be like a minecart that can slowly like weave closer. And you've got to try and knock all the minecarts off as it gets closer. Right, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I need to do a background. Um, I think I'm going to try and make it look like space. I could have like a black background, I guess. Would that look cool? Um, I can't remember how millipede is actually. No, I'm gonna have this colourful. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have purple. I'm gonna have a purple background. I got a swiftness potion uh, already on me, so I should be able to do this quicker. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have it so. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure you know what the game centipede or millipede, whatever it's called, is. Uh, basically, you're like a little ship or something. And you're moving left and right as a big old centipede gets closer. And you're going to try and shoot all the bits. So if I do it so that, um, yeah, it's just like a minecart that slowly gets closer. Well, there's like several minecarts that you've got to like set off. If I do that, and then you've got to try and destroy them all as you get closer. I assume this is kind of what he expected for us to do. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I I'm sure that if I had some more time and some time to think, I could have come up with a better idea. But I don't. I've only got 15 minutes. And I know this is only 
a very small thing to build, but 15 minutes isn't a very long amount of time. I think in the first speed building contest I did against Squid, I spent about like five minutes just deciding what I was gonna build. And that if like that would have been a third of my time if I spent that long deciding. And yeah, I've really enjoyed these speed building contests. And um, I don't know, have you enjoyed them? Do you want me to carry on doing them? Like I did the first one just like for fun, just as a laugh. And I didn't even like plan to record it. Uh, but I had so much fun building it, I decided that, you know what, I am going to record these. And I think uh, quite a lot of you enjoy them, especially as you can go and see it from both perspectives. Uh, in the description, I'll have a link to uh, Squid's channel, uh, which I just definitely think you should go and check out anyway. Uh, especially as there are some videos with me in now. We're actually doing uh, a dual commentary on uh, PC Minecraft on a mod called Feed the Beast. Well, uh, a combination of mods called Feed the Beast. And uh, yeah, we're doing that on PC, so you should definitely go uh, and check that out anyway, just because I'm in it. <laughs> and also... Uh, you can see on his channel his perspective of these building, uh, speed building contests. So if you want to know uh, what's going through Squid's head right now, uh, you can go and uh, check that out below. And now uh, what? Look at the hell that he's building! I'm here just still placing the ground in. He's already built all of that. I've gone uh, just under three minutes into my time already. And I'm, I think I'm going to get like the mechanics working. So like this like this is playable and then I'm going to worry about making it prettier oh, but look how he's done it, he's done it so you've got like a proper window, I think I might copy him well not copy him, I might uh, do my own style but do something similar but first let, let me get this working uh, before I start making it look pretty and I want some fences, I might as well use never brick uh, just so it sort of fits in within the colour scheme and I do that uh, along there so this is where the player will be. They'll be moving uh, left and right here behind this fence. And then uh, now I need the, the minecart tracks. And uh, I need a bunch of uh, power rails. It needs to be pretty much all power rails, I guess, so it can go quite fast. And this is where the uh, the centipedes will start, the millipedes and that. Um, I think I might have like a tower of them so they all fall down. Uh, but I want this to kind of be covered up so it sort of covers up uh, like the redstone style of it. But there needs to be something pretty on the wall. Um, I think I might do it... Um... I, could even, I wouldn't even do like the sky or like uh, like the stars, but I think that it's easier to make something look like the sky. So I'm just going to have a weird purple floor. And then, yeah, here I'm going to have where all the minecarts drop down. Uh, right, I'm going to have to obviously make a gap for when they come out. And sort of this doesn't make much sense to you. Basically, I want a bunch of minecarts to all come out but go onto the same track. And uh, I think I want a, a better way of doing it rather than... Uh, just making it so you have to keep pressing the button over and over again and placing more down. Yes, yeah, so this is just going to be like a uh, backdrop. And then I'm going to add some clouds onto this just to make it look a bit prettier. So some clouds uh, kind of just like uh, that will do. That Does that look like a cloud? It kind of looks like a cloud. I'm going to do one like that and then uh, one like that. There we go. They're my clouds. That's my backdrop. And this, this here is uh, where the minecarts can come out of. And so my first one will just be, of course, uh, along the bottom like that. And uh, it can all be power rails up to that point there. And then I want some normal rails as it can whip around the corner. And then uh, I've already wasted five minutes. I'm already a third into my time, so I do want to be very quick. And then, yeah, I just want this to kind of weave its way forward. So while it's here going left and right and weaving its way back and forth, uh, this is going to be like your chance to shoot it. So, um I think this will work. I think this will be quite fun. I think I'm going to do it um, a little bit closer. I could kind of do with a bit more room, to be honest. Like, I know that like, this isn't that massive, but I, I, I kind of do with a bit of a, a bigger pen. I suppose this is a good way to, to force me to not try and be too ambitious, you know, because, like, I can't be too ambitious because I don't have that much time. And I, don't, I think I'm going to try and do it so it does a bit of a weird pattern something like this and then it will go back the other way i mean i could make it go right next to each, each other i suppose i should have done that there as well right i'm going to change this again once again <laughs> just because like i want it to go back and forth a few times and otherwise it won't be able to unless i do it going quite close now shall I will i will do it like that i do it like this so it goes to here and your challenge is to shoot all the minecarts so none of them hit the end where like uh, a power rail will go off and it'll go like ding or like a piston will come up and like say you lose or something like that. <laughs> so that, that that's what the aim of the game is and I could do a bit like this where it sort of goes forward and back like that a bit just to make it last a bit longer and then it will come... Uh, I don't know, you can go like that. That's kind of cool. Just make it weave in and out a bit. Just so it's not completely just going like back and forth. And I feel like I've wasted quite a lot of space here actually. I'm going to um, extend this all a bit here. Get rid of that a bit. 
and put that there. And I'm, I'm very scared that I am wasting a lot of my time. But I mean, this is kind of the important bit. This is like the, the mechanical side. This is where the actual fun of the game will be, I suppose. So I'm going to make it go... Uh, like that. There we go. So that's that's how the minecart's going to weave around. And then at the end here, I'm going to have a detector rail, and I'm going to have a uh, like some sort of redstone just to say that you've lost. Okay. So I need to now put my uh, have like a minecart mechanism here. Um, I don't know if I put. Uh, I need obviously uh, some redstone torches to light this up. And uh, I'm not going to bother about making this look pretty because this is this is kind of like behind the scene. So if I put down a redstone torch. Uh, on here and light up all of this. We'll light it all up. There we go. And another one there. If I had like a row of minecarts and I set the first one off, would that first one like push into all the others? If it would, that would save a hell of. There we go. Look, they all just get set off. That is awesome. Okay, so I don't have to worry about any of the other stuff. So um, that 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 sort of made things a hell of a lot easier on me because they will all just go. That way, I don't need to have some sort of. A uh, clever mechanism. Um, I just need a way to, to turn the redstone on and off, I guess, though, because it's kind of always on at the moment. I need to add a button um, on here, uh, like that. And then I think I need like an end block uh, there. And then I put my minecart down there. Oh, and it's already it's already going off. Okay, I think I, I need I need to get rid of that. That's why Th these all need to be off until it goes down. And oh, why are they all staying on? There we go. Now they've all gone off. Okay, so if I set that off, will it keep going? No, it won't. Um, <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, why, why is that not even starting at all? Is the button in the wrong place? Oh, now you're going to have to see how bad I am at redstone. And I am actually running out of time now, which is getting a bit boring. There we go. That kind of works. And then um, if I have that one torch there, so some of them, oh, no, that's too many of them lit up. If I put it there, no, okay. Um, I think if I have a, a detector rail and then put a detector rail here maybe will that like light the others up maybe there we go then that lights them all up there we go okay so then i just need uh, another detector rail maybe like about here and then here and then here and i know i'm taking a, spending a lot of time doing this but this is kind of crucial to get working so there we go that then that will send it off okay now let me try it with a few of them along the way and see if it will like set them all off and it does look they all they all get set off. Okay, so that works. My my opening works, but I just need to obviously add um, a few more power rails uh, around the way here. And unfortunately, it's lagging a bit, uh, but it shouldn't matter too much. So um, I guess I'm going to need a power rail. Uh, I can have power rails along here. And uh, when there's not an entity in the minecart, uh, you need a lot more power rails than you do than if you were in it, uh, because they slow down a lot quicker. So this may look like I'm doing loads of power rails, but you kind of need it just to just to keep the speed up. And I'm going to make this all look prettier in a minute. Don't worry. I'm going to uh, put redstone torches uh, underneath, so uh, there won't be all stuff like sticking up everywhere. And then my game will be almost finished. I just need to add a, a detector rail at the end, so it will ding when you get there. And then I'm not far off being done. And to be honest, like. The more power rails I have, probably the more fun it will be because the harder it will be. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if I try and if I try and do it like that, so I can just put redstone in the middle there. Uh, I do a couple more there. I do two more there. And sorry, I know this is probably getting a bit boring, but hopefully once this is finished, it should look pretty pretty awesome. That's the plan anyway. And uh, just a few more along there. Okay, now I need to red add some redstone torches. Um, which I think for now I might just put them next to it and then if I have time at the end I'm going to go and uh, put them all underneath and hide them all and make them look uh, a little bit prettier uh, but for now I can just shove down redstone torches everywhere uh, because it will have to do for now you know I don't I don't have time to to make things look pretty yet I just want to get uh, the actual game side the mechanical side of it working and I'm gonna have to kind of play it just to demonstrate it to Zach because I'm pretty sure Zach isn't gonna know uh, what it is I've built like by just looking at it straight away now there's no place for me to put down a torch here right I'm gonna have to go and build one underneath for this one right and the way you do it is you just put it down like that and then fill in the gap and this is what I'm gonna do everywhere um, if I have time I just need to do a few more down here uh, put a couple of redstone torches down there there we go and then uh, I'm going to send a minecart round and make sure it does go the whole way round. I've only got um, I've got four minutes left, which really isn't much time at all. Like this is doable. I'm not I'm not panicking yet. You can probably tell by my voice. I'm not screaming. I'm not in panicky stampy mode quite yet. But I'm getting there. I'm get I'm getting closer to it. Um, okay, and oh, I need to put one under here as well. Why do I build all these tracks so close together? 
and uh, hopefully I can then have a quick play of it by myself before Zach can come here. And, and just I'm just hoping that it all works okay. Um, I can just put that there and that there and then link that up there. Oh, I haven't done these ones either. There we go. Is everything lit up now? Is everything lit up? There we go. I now have a lit up track and I need a detector rail at the end here. And I just haven't even looked at what he's building. Okay, he's building something with ducks, I guess. Something where you've got to shoot ducks with arrows or maybe like catch them with a fishing rod might be likely. I know that's the kind of thing that he likes to do. And so, yeah, I now I just need a... Actually, I'm just going to put the note block on the surface uh, because I don't think there's any point trying to be fancy about this. Uh, I'm just going to put the note block just next to it. That way I know it's going to work. And uh, I'm going to make it so it does a nice ding. So, um, oh, what, what? oh, there we go. I just need to try and change the tone. Oh, no, don't lag now. I don't have time for lag. There we go. So it's just there a bit higher pitched. Uh, let me just try pushing a, a minecart onto that and see if it works. Uh, see if it does actually ding. It should do. There's no reason why it shouldn't. There we go. Ding. So that means you've lost, basically. <laughs> That's quite a pleasant sound for you having to lose. Um, I'm going to add a gate here into the fence just so you've got like an entrance to get into the ride. Uh, put that in about the middle there. Uh, I also need to put a chest down, which I'm going to fill uh, full of bows and arrows. Um, where's chest? Uh, so... Yeah, I'm going to have a, just one chest there. I mean, I don't need two chests. And then I need to make a bunch of bows, which... Um, there we go. I mean, I can just put one in. Actually, I'll, I'll put just a few in. I don't need to fill it up because there's no point. It's just wasting time. Uh, bow. And I don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. There we go. So I'm just going to put a few bows in and then uh, a bunch of arrows as well. Just so uh, whenever people play, they can just have a stack of arrows. Sorted. So that that's all you need. And now all I need to do is sort of sort out the uh, the starting mechanism. And my sky looks a bit rubbish there, but it doesn't really matter. But I've only got two minutes left, so this this better this better work now. So hopefully I can have all these minecarts in a row along like this. Oh no, and I've set it off. It's oh I can't have them on the detector rails. If I put the minecarts on the detector rails, it's going to set them all off early. And they seem to have some trouble getting through here as well. Um, I I don't think these are lit up. These aren't lit up here. Um. Okay, if I put these as normal, hopefully they'll have enough speed to get round there. I'll put that one there as a uh, as a power rail, and I am actually panicking now. I now now I'm getting into panicky stampy mode because I've only got one minute and thirty five seconds left, according to my phone, and my phone is normally right. Damn it, being right. Okay, so I need to avoid the detector rails and just place these all down like this, and then hopefully when I press that button, they're all gonna get set off. There we go. Oh, there they go. There they all go. And then they all go around. This has worked perfectly. And then they all build up and then they all get sent back. Why are they doing that? Oh, no, they're all going up again. No, this is all this is working fine still. And so you'll be here trying to shoot them all. And you've got to shoot them all before they get back. And it's kind of cool. I like the way they all bounce into each other. Like, it isn't what I intended, but it kind of works. And once one gets to the end, it's game over. Oh, that worked. That worked better than I thought. I like the way they all bang into each other just it makes it more fun you know it makes it more difficult and more challenging to hit them and if one gets through to the end then you've lost I love this I lo I'm really proud of my game I made <laughs> I like I think I'm actually going to add this to my love guide and look and they're all going they all like do eventually go okay apart from this one apart from that one at the end there they do eventually all get to go around and here they all go <laughs> I love it okay I now all I've got 30 seconds left so I just need to go and put all of these back into place and then I'm done and come back here minecart no 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 I'm no, I'm destroying stuff okay that was because of lag i'm gonna blame lag anyway okay let me put back that back down make sure there's nothing on the track and all i need to do is go and put these final mine carts down and then i've done it then then my, my game is completely finished i just need to be very careful not to hit any detector rails uh, if i put any of these on a detector rail then they're all going to get set off and that's it i'm going to put a sign down saying uh start and then, and then, 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 then I've pretty much finished it. And there goes my phone. You can probably hear the dogs barking. Can you hear them going off? That means it's game over. But um, Zach is going to be doing the uh, official timekeeping. So yeah, there we go. My time was just right. He there got put down the wall, which says time's up, and I'm done. This is my finished game. And phone, you can shut up now. I know time's up. <laughs> okay, so this is it. This is my game. So you come in here. You have your bow and arrow. And you, uh, someone else has to press start. I'll go press start. And he has to try and hit all of the arrows uh, before they come. Hopefully no one's going to go and press start early. Um, let's, go and, let's go and have a look at what Squid's done. So um, I, I don't know what you do for his game. Uh, I'm just going to watch watch Squid, uh, watch Zack doing it, sorry. And I'm going to try and see uh, what you've got to do. I think it might be something like my duck fling, where you have a, uh, a fishing rod. And then um, you have to try and fling the ducks out into like these pools of water and uh hopefully zach's gonna play no zach, zach don't press the button zach stand here stand here zach 
with a bow and arrow. Don't press the button. Don't press the button, Zach. Please, please don't press the button. Don't press it. Don't press it yet. Don't press it. Um, let me let me just put down a sign saying don't press, and then hopefully, because I, I want him to play it, because it should be fun. Uh, don't uh, press. Okay, I, I I need to press. I need to press. Come over here. Come over here, Zach. Come over here. I'm gonna show you how to play. Uh, let me put down a, a bow and arrow for him just so he can see. Um, I think he only needs one arrow because we're on creative mode. Come over here. Bow and arrow. Um, oh, 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 he has. He has. He set them all off. He set them all off. So uh, let, let me try and do a demonstration uh, because, oh man, I hope he understands it. I hope he gets what you're trying to do. I don't know who pressed the button. I said don't press. Uh, oh, well, I suppose this is kind of the point. And so you've got to be here and you've got to try and shoot all, the, all these, you see. This is how you play. And then you've got to shoot them before they get to the end. You see, that's how you play the game. Uh, so yeah, did, did you get it, Zach, man? I wanted you to play, but um, <laughs> you didn't. Oh, there we go. Look at that shot. Look how well I'm doing. And I shot them all. I win. And oh, I think I think Squid was building me the trophy. <laughs> I think Squid was trying to declare that I won. Uh, let's see what Zach, man, says. Come on, build it. Build it. Build the trophy. He's thinking about it. Yay! And he did. I won. Arriba. Arriba. Let's shoot arrows into the air. And oh, God. Oh, God. Got a bit of an upskirt there of myself. Woo! 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 Stampy Longnose is the victory. Are you happy? Are you happy for me, cow? I don't even care. I don't care what you think. Oh, sorry, I killed you, mate. Woo! Woo! Oh, man, I won. Oh, that was so tense. This is my game. I am I am quite happy with my game, to be honest. I think there might be a bit of a problem with uh, them, them blocking the rest of the track, but I suppose that doesn't really matter. This is this is my little sideshow game, and I might try and uh, rebuild this or build something similar uh, in my lovely world um, once I'm done. Um, well, I want to thank you uh, very much for watching this video. And look, I got two trophies. I got there one from Squid and one from Zachman as well. And so, yeah, this is the final building contest I'm doing against Squid. Um, it was a best out of three, and uh, I, I won, and I'm absolutely chuffed about that. But um, I think Squid's game was pretty cool, so uh, I'm still not entirely sure how you do it. But I guess, I mean, this is just a guess. You've got to shoot them with a bow and arrow, or my better guess is that you've got to be here uh, with a fishing rod, and you've got to try and hook them and try and fling them into this pool here or something like that. I mean, I guess that's what you've got to do. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. That's the problem. There we go. I managed to get one. I won. So, yeah. I mean, Squid was a great opponent. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to be doing more videos of him in the future. So, this isn't the last you've seen of Squid. And if you do want to see me doing more speeding, uh, speed building contest, uh, then just leave a comment down below and just say, we want more. And if you don't, be honest about it. If you don't want me to do more speed building contests, if you think these are boring, uh, then that's fair enough. Just let me know because I want to make the kind of videos that you want to see. Uh, but that is the end of the video now. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!